How many um, how many people here are, are have listened to the show before? Woo! Show of hands. <laughs> how many people here have never heard our show before? Wow. More people heard it than not, I think. <laughs> Maybe. You guys I'm are sorry. in for a treat. <laughs> We've been doing this Dolby podcast since 2005. So we're one of the longest running and least successful podcasts out there. I mean, the ratio is is not great, but uh, yeah, we've been doing it since 2005, and people do actually listen to it. Um, and we do it just because it's really fun, and we like talking about video games. And we all met actually through my website, which is called Cheap Ass Gamer. These guys were were members of the website, and. One day, Wombat contacted me, and he says, I think we could make a radio show out of Cheap Ass Gamer. And he worked for Howard Stern's uh, agency, and I'm a big Howard Stern fan. You like Howard Stern? So imagine being a big Howard Stern fan and getting an email that ends, like, at Don Buckwald, which is Howard Stern's agent. So I was like, holy shit. And the guy's telling you he wants to make a radio show with you. So I'm like shitting in my pants, basically. And I get this email, and I'm emailing back with this guy, who introduces himself as Stuart. And we have a meeting, and he's a very young guy. So like my expectations went like I was young once. He was. This was you know this is 2005. So no kids, no wife. <laughs> right. Yeah. Wow. So I was. So my expectations got brought back to reality, sort of quick. You know, a little bit. But I was. But I was in Don Buckwald's office space. And we even recorded a couple of episodes in the mm-hmm. in the studio down there they do for voiceovers. And actually, like it was going pretty well, and we even made like a, we made a demo tape. Mm-hmm. They got listened to by a, some pretty high up people. And then when they found out that Wombat was the co-host, that you know he worked for Don Buckwald, you know they said no. Like they were interested. They like they wanted to set up a meeting until they heard that Wombat was involved, and they're like, no, forget it. That's partially true. I mean, it's pretty much true, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. It's mostly because they don't want to send the message to other employees that... Something, it was, yeah, weird politics, but yeah. You know, like, hey, everybody should just start their own radio we, we show. We were probably a little ahead of our time also. We were. Yeah. Now everybody, now, now it's not special. Anybody can Yeah, can at the this. time it was special. And Shipwreck, we just met. I said, uh, hey, let's make a database. Yeah, <laughs> Shipwreck... And, and, <laughs> Shipwreck is the biggest retro nerd out of all of us by leaps and bounds. Um, and he's a very active user on Cheap Ass Gamer. And is that how we sort of? Yeah, we met on Xbox Live. Right. Yeah. Uh, that came. I mean, that came about later. My wife and I did the CAG Four Play podcast for two years, maybe somewhere around there. But and I was writing reviews for a while before I had a kid, and then <laughs> that went away. Yeah. Not just this. Now I just get him for once a week for an hour, which is which is pretty good. 